Right, so a uh, very brief review before we get started with uh, chapter eight. So let, let's take a stock of everything we've done so far. So we started the, the course with uh, our short run analysis, which was basically three, four, and five. And remember how we defined short run was that in the short run, price is fixed. So that was the assumption that we made. That in the short run, price will not go up and down. And as a result, as we were doing chapter three, four, and five, where we looked at the goods market, the financial market, and then we put them together in the ISLM framework. As we were doing all of that, notice that we never talked about price. We're talking about outputs, basically. Uh, the demand for goods, income, uh, the GDP of a country, equilibrium outputs and all of that, but we never talked about price. Then uh, we started medium run analysis, which is going to be seven, eight, and nine. We've done seven already. And in the medium run, what we do is we allow price to vary. So price will vary. And we haven't done that yet, but what we did in chapter seven uh, in labor market is that we introduced the price into our equation. So if you guys remember, we looked at the price setting relation and the wage setting relation. And the price setting relation was uh, P equals to W one plus the markup. And the wage setting relation was uh, expected price times function of u, which is negatively related, and phi, which is positively related. So you see that in both these cases, we introduced price. So uh, we're, we're, we're getting where we want to be. So today what we are going to do is we're going to be starting chapter eight, which is basically about inflation and unemployment. And obviously, if you are going to be talking about inflation, we have to talk about price level. So what we see today is going to heavily involve the fluctuation of price level. So we are finally at a stage in this course where we can talk about price level going up and 